you are faithful. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the season of overflow you have brought us into. You have not called the house of Jacob to seek you in vain. And we're excited about the brand new week you've given us. Thank you for a week filled with pleasant surprises and mind-blowing testimonies. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Now go ahead and celebrate Jesus, somebody. Oh, come on, go ahead and celebrate Jesus. I thought we were going to do that better, celebrate Jesus. Come on, I'm still waiting for one more person to celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah, please can have your seat. Some minutes ago, uh, the Holy Spirit had dropped the word in my spirit, and um, I think I dropped on the platform. So let me declare it just in case I do not get here by the end of the broadcast this morning. This is God's word for you. I don't know who you are. The Lord says, it will happen for you this week. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. You know, I told you yesterday that unbelief is not your friend, right? It will happen for you this week. Now, I don't know the call you're expecting. I don't know the business deal you are open with control. I don't know the depth you are believing God to clear. I don't know what it is. But I decree again as God's prophet that it will happen for you this week. It will happen for you this week. It will happen for you this week. Can I have a faith believing? Amen. Please, if I have your seat, Reverend. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Please pay close attention to this scripture. Um, I'm super excited about what God wants to do this week. Super excited. Super excited. <laughs> and I told you last week, Monday, that one of the things we must do, and I'm talking to myself too, is that you must learn how to attack your new week. Always approach your new week with different expectations. It doesn't matter what happened the previous week. If you got some testimonies, uh, previous week, beautiful. The best of God is never in our past. The Bible says his mercies are new every morning. How much more every new week? The Bible says he daily loads us with benefit. If he will daily load me with benefits, how much more my week? So approach this week with fire in your eyes. Raise your faith. Expect something that has never happened to you before. I'm talking about favor testimonies to happen to you. Expect that you will have some divine life-changing encounter this week. Who shouted the better? Amen. amen. I said, who shouted the better? Amen. amen. So look to 52. Please pay attention to this. If you are just starting business, especially, this might be one major scripture for you, but that is not my focus today. But if you're just starting up in life, Maybe you just relocated, you just got married, you just started something new. This is one major scripture I want to hand over to you. Because this scripture is talking about baby Jesus. But the revelation, you know, cuts across. Talking about baby Jesus here, the Bible says, and he grew in wisdom. Oh, this blessed me. He grew in wisdom. And in stature, and in favor with God and with men. So, it does not mean that at the foundation for anything growing. Listen to me, guys. And God told me this morning, Zion. He said, anywhere you see growth. And I give you this assignment, check through scripture. Anywhere you see growth. Anywhere you see increase. Anywhere you see results. You will see one of these two guys there. If not both of them. You will see wisdom. And you will see favor. Anywhere, fling the black, check out through scripture. Anybody experiencing prosperity? Is it Solomon? Is it Daniel? Is it Joseph? Is it Esther? Is it Paul? Anybody you see doing anything extraordinary for God? 
This is their secret. Is that they combine the two or they have one of the two? And most of the time, they combine the two. Is somebody with me? Now, that is the impartation coming upon you right now. <laughs> I said, that is the impartation coming upon you right now. Now, not just right now, but for the rest of your life. So I decree, begin to function in a realm of overflowing wisdom and favor. It's our season of overflow. So say it increases. So that means it's in levels. Place it, guys. But we we'll get there tomorrow. You, you, you know, I I love the level of dimension of increased favor. But just in case I do not get there tomorrow, increased favor means men and God are always, you know, bending over backward just to make sure that things are added to you. In other words, the realm of favor you enjoyed last week is not the one you enjoyed this week. It has increased. People see you and they'll be like, wow. <laughs> but as a guy, I want to show us, then we pray. Oh, God. His name is Jacob. Now, uh, Jacob is a strange guy, very weird guy. He's the only guy that I know. I served for 14 years because of <laughs> strange guy. You know, he first did say, you know, Jacob was a smart guy. But when you are smart, you don't know that you have a girl. How would Jacob convince me that he didn't know that it was not Rachel he was having intercourse with? I mean, you labor for seven years because of someone. They not bring the person, they not bring someone else to you. And I said, you do not know. He thought he was playing the first one on labor. He didn't know that. Ellen was logger. Pastor was that. Bring seed after seven. He didn't know that labor was his boss. So we're going to play the first one. So after he had met uh, with um, Leah, he said, oh, I didn't know. I, said, I, I don't know. So we have a culture. You can't live the first. You can't live the other one. I moved to the younger one. Do you know? Yadi, yadi. Then this guy said for another seven years, my God. My God. Don't get, you know, there are many things to learn about Jacob, especially for business guys, they want for career guys. Strong determination. Can you pursue a goal for 14 years? Can you pursue an idea for 14 years? But that's not my focus. Can I talk to your brother here? Can you pursue a lady for 14 years? That I will wait until I get here. Don't try it. <laughs> but just imagine that I will wait for 14 years. Just for two weeks, you've given up. Amen. Now, this guy, it's got to a point. Now, listen. It's got to a point that this guy knows that I have to move on. And I saw something that blessed me. My goodness. Maybe I just follow that note. Genesis chapter 30, verse 27. Hmm. See what Laban said about Jacob. Oh God, read everybody, please. Please, everybody, read. One, two, three, go. And Laban said to him, Please stay. Now, this guy was going to go after 14 years. They have children already, you know. Now, he said, Please stay. Read, everybody. For I have found, if I found favor in your eyes, for I have learned by experience. That the Lord has blessed me for your sake. Oh, this is my Mimshak anointing. See, I know there's an anointing that when you release a song, the song spread and all that. But this is my perfect example of Mimshak anointing. You don't get it. That when you enter a man's life, when you get involved in a business, in an organization, it does not matter what was not working, but because you are there. This man said, I have learned, not by revelation, not by dream, that the Lord has blessed me. Ah! See, I convert this for every lady that I pastor. This is a major grace. I pray for every lady that I pastor. Why the Bible says, either find the wild. Find good things and obtain favor. How do you enter a man's life and in six months, no testimony in his life? 
And I'm not putting you under pressure. And please don't receive this for ladies. If you're a man here, this must be the grace. See, you stay on this grace until it shows in your life that I can't be a part of anything and it will not succeed. Speaking in tongues is not, for, I mean, I'm not saying it's not for speaking in tongues alone. We did that yesterday. It's not for falling alone. No, we did. I mean, we have that in Zion here. It's for results. This guy said, I have lived by experience. My God. I have lived by experience. Oh, before you join the company, our turnover in the month was just 100,000. Now, I just discovered that since we brought you in as HR, now our turnover in the month now is over 100 million dollars. Let me show you something very strange. <laughs> because this is the realm all of us are entering. Yeah. And if you're in this realm already, don't forget Jesus increase in the wisdom and in favor. If this is your realm already, let it jack up. Yeah. See verse 28. See verse 28. My God. Then he said, Nay. <laughs> Career guys, come in, come in, come close. Career guy, do you know what this means? When you operate in this grace as a career person, you name your salary. <laughs> you are the one that determines your salary. My goodness, he said. Then he said, Name your wages, and I will give it. You know what? Any amount you want, but please don't leave me. That's what Laban said. See what Jacob, I mean, what Jacob himself said. Verse 13. This is when Jacob, this scripture is about negotiation. I mean, many things about these scriptures. Acts of negotiation, many things. So Jacob said, for what you had. Now, see Jacob talking. Because somebody here, when people talk about it, they say, hey, no, not really. It's your grace. When they say, I discovered that I'm blessed because of you. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, glory be to God. But you must also know that to talk. See what Jacob said. For what you had before I came was little. <laughs> See, if you leave me alone here, this is my scripture. He said, for what you had before I came was little. But it has increased to a great amount. The Lord has blessed you since my coming. My God. And now, when shall I provide So, this guy, they had a deal. And the conclusion of the deal is that Jacob said, pick all the plain animal. I wish I have time to show you the animal science now. So, pick all the plain animal. Then I will pick anyone that has black, some call it brown spot, or anyone that is striped. Now, uh, I don't want to look for trouble now. You know, that is what's probably happened uh, when you see, um, you know, we have one music minister. I've not mentioned anybody's name because the case is with IG. The music minister and the pastor that married and they gave birth and somebody said the child looked like another music minister. Alright. Now, sometimes when you have children, it's very, very possible you give birth to a child and the child look like someone from the father's family or someone from the mother's family and not exactly like and even in a weird or very strange situation, husband and wife can mate, all right? And the child does not look like anybody. Now, those are very weird, but it's possible. And there are many scientific explanations for that. So what Jacob did was this. Naturally, most animals in that region are plain. But on rare occasion, there are one or two, very few that are spotted or that are striped or that are brown or black. So Jacob said, those few ones, give them to me. When you get to read that scripture, Laban said, you are the one that said it to. That's the exact word that Laban said. You are the one that said it to. Are you sure those are the ones you want to pick? Jacob said, give them to me. In fact, when Laban gave them to Jacob, Laban separated the plain one, the better one. This guy traveled for like about three days to separate them so that so there won't be any any confusion. It's separate. It might for like about three days to move the good one. And the Lord gave Jacob an idea. And he got a pole. Stripped them. 
and make the post to be pattern when you get home late. And anytime the animals want to meet, you know what mate means? <laughs> anytime the animals want to have a call, or it makes sure that, and of course, also as they're drinking water, as they're drinking water, the image they were seeing, not plain image, but striped, spotted image. Don't forget that these animals were little. So anytime they want to meet, though they were plain, but because the image they were seeing, including the sheep of Laban, not the crossbreed. I don't have time to, 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 to teach you that. They crossbreed. So when they want to mate, though the animals are plain, but because the image they were seeing was striped, they didn't give birth according to their gene. They gave birth according to the environment. <laughs> Listen, your environment is stronger than your background. Your prosperity is not determined by your past. Your prosperity is determined by your atmosphere. Though by gene, by their hereditary, these guys were playing, but because the image they were seeing was striped, was spotted, they gave birth not after the order of where they are coming from, but they gave birth after the order of what they were seeing. That was the technology. That's the whole message on its own. But the key word is, this guy became so rich that there was a major wealth transfer. But this is the part that caught my attention. Are you blessed already? Mm. When you go to Genesis chapter 31, Genesis 31, now verse 43 rather, 30, 43. After what I described now, I just summarized many things. See the result of what I explained to you now. Pastor, what's the big deal about uh, someone that was playing and uh, all this English? See the result. Verse 43. When you get home, check this verse 43 in different versions. Maybe I get message ready or maybe amplified. Read everybody. Don't you tell go. Wait. Does the man what? Became exceedingly prosperous and had large flock, female and male servants. Give me a message. See how message puts it. The man got richer. Oh God. Oh God. Acquiring huge flocks. Lots and lots of staffs. Not to mention camels and donkeys. But can I show you something? Can I get the keyboard this now? Let me show you this. Genesis 31 verse 10. Now the focus. Genesis 31 verse 10. Now, see the secrets of the testimonies we read. See the secrets of the testimony we read. Are you excited out here? Now, if you read chapter 30, you will think that this just happened. That Jacob just cooked it. This is where you are going to pray. If you just read chapter 30, you're like, oh, this guy is smart. This guy is brainy. This guy is truly smart. What I described to you in the previous chapter is not a product of normal intelligence. This is Joseph, just Jacob, talking to his wives. Because after this happened, the children of Laban gang up against him that you've stolen our father's wealth. So Jacob had to explain to his wives. He said, and it happened at the time when the flocks conceived that I lifted up my eyes and saw in a dream. Did you see that? Your dreams are about to change after now. Well, this strategy, I didn't read them in a book. It's good to read books. This strategy, they didn't tell me in a seminar. Oh, God. Oh, God. He said, it was in a dream. And behold, the rams. Did you see that? Yes, the next verse, verse 11. Verse 11. Verse 11. And the angel of God spoke to me in a dream. So these strategies were given to him by angels. My God, my God, we've reduced angels to hey, the angels are here. Oh, hey, wings, wings. Angels can give you strategies. My God, angels can give you ideas. I've seen this dimension personally. Angels can show you what to do. 
And you don't have to even have a dream like you close your eyes and you have a dream. It can just come like a thought. We call it in the prophetic privilege information. Now, good news. There are two ways to tap into this dimension. The first way to tap into it, any of the two is fine, but I'm going for the two. But you can go for one based on your religious background. The first one is to assess this dimension as a seed of Abraham. Pastor, what do you mean? Jacob is a descendant of Abraham. And Bible called me seed of Abraham. Not only that, this is the higher revelation, bigger than seed of Abraham. Are you ready for this? The Bible says, of all born of a woman, there is none that is as great as John the Baptist. But the least in the kingdom. In other words, John the Baptist was greater than Jacob. And the least in the kingdom is greater than John the Baptist. So the life of God you have in you has empowered you to function in realms higher than the realm of Jacob. Did you catch that? Did you catch that? That's why Jesus said greater than Solomon is here. And he said the work I do you will do also greater work than this you will do. That is if you have new creation reality background that will help. So you can function in this realm. Because you are a seed of Abraham. And because you have the life of God. But the second dimension is the prophetic realm. What is the prophetic realm? Hear me. Every man that ever walked on this path of eternity, the spirit they carry is here alive. That's why he said to John the Baptist, you will come in the spirit of Elijah. Hey! That is why on the Mount of Transfiguration, Moses and Elijah had fellowship with Jesus. Pastor, what are you saying? Goliath is dead, but his spirit is still alive. Pharaoh is dead, but his spirit is still alive. I, I thought you something is dead, but his spirit is still alive. News flash. Jacob is dead, but his spirit is still alive. Someone can see Tam 10 enter that dimension of wisdom. You see, when we think of Bible character, devil has a way of magnifying their weaknesses. So when you think of Jacob, you only thought of a cheat. You don't think of someone that operated in strange business acumen that can only be assessed by the supernatural. The spirit of Jacob is still alive. Yes, sir. Oh, I said that spirit is still alive. Yes, sir. And that is coming upon somebody right now. Amen. You will turn down with every fire in your voice. It's Monday, so we have just about five minutes to pray. Have you blessed already? Yes, sir. They let me say from today. From today. Okay, I expected more fire than that. Say from today. I walk in higher dimension of wisdom, intelligence, and brilliance in the name of Jesus. Can you go ahead and declare it? Oh, come on, go ahead and declare it. The wisdom of God is finding me. The wisdom of God is finding me. Greater than Jacob is here. Greater than Jacob is here. Shale amana kosha tata baye. Shale laba kache kata. I always know what to do. 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 Somebody go ahead and declare in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let me tell you how you get results as a believer in the place of prayer. Do I don't have time? The Bible says effectual art faith, art faith, art faith. There has to be some fire. There has to be some passion. Hallelujah. This is a guy that operated in old covenant. How much more you with the life of God in you? Your way to say anything and involve with from today. Prospers. Wait. The person that talked was a non-believer and a family member. When your family member who don't believe God, when they begin to testify of your result, say from today, from today anything traceable to my name, anything traceable to my name, so that way, can you go ahead and declare it? Can you go ahead and declare it? Shalaba da 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 ba ha, Shalia kata da 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 ba ha. Shenakata kana yakada, bari akasha kabaha.
Nothing good dies in my hand again. Nothing good dies in my hand again. Nothing good dies in my hand again. I'm a seed of Abraham. 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 Jesus oh Jesus oh Jesus in Jesus mighty name Amen. may that please give me that scripture where Jacob testify himself not what Laban said and that will be our final prayer I've left all the prayers we are meant to take but I'm sure you are blessed already right I said, I'm sure you are blessed already. Yes, mm. I'm getting ready to see. That should be, sorry please, I want you to see it. So me that will leave it on the screen. And that's the final scripture we are using to pray. Verse 30. Genesis 30, 30. <laughs> Jesus. Please, I, I want you to get home today, try this week. And get angry in your spirit. Until this word come to pass. For what you had before I came. Was little. My God. My God. And it has increased to a great amount. The Lord has blessed you since my coming. Look at me guys. Bible says poor plants. Apollo waters. But it is God. Everywhere you see increase, God is involved. I want you to declare this. With, if you're a lady here, please. I want you to pray on another level. And if you're a man here, whether you're a CEO or you work for somebody, it's the same grace. I've tested a little of this. I've tested a little of this. Back in the lorry, anytime a department is not working well, my pastor take me there. And once I get there, boom. And one day, my pastor called me. He said, Brother James, how are you getting this result? And I said, sir, you are the one that laid hand on me. And he said something I will never forget. He said, you were not the only one I laid hand on. Mm. There can be many makeup parties. You can have many people doing what you are doing. There's no prayer point. You should have seen that this morning. But if possible, you can stretch forth your hands. My hands are blessed. Wait, and this is the prayer. Anything I touch after now, anything I start, or anything I'm involved with, after now, we experience exponential increase. Ah, can you go ahead and declare it? Media, just put that scripture there. Just put that scripture there. I want you to pray this with every fire in your voice. All the parents declare this over your children. Wife, pray this over your husband. Husband, pray this over your wife. Children, pray this for your parents. Mention your name. Mention your company's name. Exponential increase. Genesis 30 30 has become my emblem. This is my testimony. This is my testimony. Shane Kataya. Paya Kata Kata. Pakata Kate. Shakateka. Nothing good dies in my hand. Shake up, 
One minute, one minute. Nothing good dies in my heart. Nothing good dies in my hands. Anything I touch explodes. Explanation increase. Explanation increase. My husband prospered in my heart. Oh, this company prospered in my hands. Anyone I touch prospers. Anything I'm involved with prospers. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Whoosh. Whoo. As many were open for the prophetic, the Bible speaks of spirit of just men. And one of those spirits is spirit of Jacob. Spirit that imparts you with supernatural wisdom to command exponential increase, profit, progress. Now, as many that desire this impartation, receive in the name of Jesus. Oh, receive in the name of Jesus. Nothing good dies in your heart again. After the order of this scripture, it will be said of you. Oh, since you joined this company, since you joined this family, even your in-law will take notice. Ah, receive this grace in the name of Jesus. Even as you get your work today, even as you get busy this week, your personal life or anyone, your partner in wait, they will see exponential increase. Now let it show in your finance. Let it show in your career. Let it show in your business. Now, you will return with testimony. Thank you, Father. Now stretch forth your hands if you don't mind. It will happen for you this week. Now, listen. That email of testimony, that email of congratulation, that phone call, that PM, we happen for you this week. We did something very strange yesterday. Workers meeting after service, and the Lord just asked me to do the same. If you don't mind, if you don't mind, can you lift up your phone, your gadget, or you can just stretch forth your hands if you are not close to your gadget? And I declare after the order of Proverbs 25 25 that as a good news from a far country, the Bible says, So, as a cold water to a weary soul, so this good news from a far country. Now, this week, you will receive testimonies. <laughs> You will have a phone call that will change your life. That email we enter this week. You will receive the miracle of Lord. That DM that will change your life forever. Receive it this week. That anger phone we drop. That anger phone we draw. No man will say sorry to you this week. You will hear good news. Pleasant surprises. Supernatural supply in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. It is done. It will happen for you this week. So, this week will not end for you empty under. You will return with mind blind testimony. The Lord gave me a word yesterday. I declare it at the end of the service. I knew Yaba and the cotton, maybe they already disconnected. And it reminded me. Somebody chatted me up early hours of Sunday morning. It was a vision. It was a WhatsApp chat. And the person put emoji of weeping. And guess what? They were tears of testimonies. They were tears of testimonies. Mariana Makoshamanda Katayaba. Ah, it will happen for you this way. Testimony that will make you to cry for joy. Testimony that will make you to weep for joy. Receive it this way. Let the miracles begin. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Did you receive the word? Can you go ahead and celebrate Jesus?